Making eggs makes a mess. They stick to the pan, they flop when you flip, and the yolks always drip. And after you cook them up, there's all that cleanup. What you need is the Roly Egg Master, the fast, easy pan free way to make perfect eggs every time. Just crack, pour, and Roly Egg Master pops up delicious eggs in minutes. It cooks your eggs just like a real pan without all the butter, fat, and mess. Look at that. And what makes Roly Eggs really great is their new easy to eat shape. Make a delicious bacon and egg roly for breakfast or a vegetable egg white roly for a healthy lunch. If you can make toast, you can make a mouthwatering roly treat. Just crack, pour, and watch them pop up in no time. The secret is vertical cooking technology that combines a cylindrical nonstick cooking surface surrounded by a revolutionary heating element. So your eggs pop up hot, fluffy, and perfectly cooked. And because of their round shape, you can take them for a quick meal on the run or serve up bite-sized party fun or cut them to add fantastic flavor to salads and sandwiches. And eggs are just the beginning. Make a tasty roly burrito, a perfect pizza roly, or a cinnamon roly for a delectable dessert. It's perfect for the office, RV, or dorm room. Plus, cleanup is a breeze. Stop making all this mess and let roly make perfect eggs that taste their best. Hello there, Consumer Fox here for today's Consumer Report. And I would like to introduce you to the roly. For those of you that can't make eggs, the Roly will do the work for you. And introducing somebody who does not know a single thing about making eggs, I present Mike, who will be demonstrating this Roly device. Uh, Mike, uh, why do you have a problem uh, making eggs? I was never taught how to cook. Really? So this ought to be perfect for you. Uh, well, let's see how well it works, and if it can teach Mike here how to make eggs, then I'd say this is a dandy product. Well, okay, first of all, let's start off uh, and any time you work with eggs, it's always helpful to have a canister of cooking spray. Alright, so go ahead and uh, spray it down. Should be ready. There you go. Alright, and set that back down there. Alright, now take uh, two eggs from the carton and just crack them right into the uh, rolly. Make sure there's no shells in it, of course. Right. Don't want to eat those. There's the first egg going in. Ooh, listen to that. It sounds like an experiment, isn't it? Alright, now egg number two. Wow. You listen to that sound. Bloop, 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 bloop. Alright, then I guess we wait for about six to eight minutes for a normal egg. And if you want a softer egg, it's five and a half minutes. And if you want a harder egg, probably about 10 minutes. So, we'll just wait, and uh, uh, while we're waiting, uh, you got that uh, wooden skewer in your hand. Uh, that is to help get the egg out when it's ready. So, all we're gonna do is wait, and we'll see how well this Rowley device will uh, cook the eggs. And if it can uh, teach you how to make eggs, then it can't possibly be bad. And uh, while we're waiting also, this Rowley does come with its own cookbook. Uh, do you have the cookbook? Yes, I do. Oh, excellent. And what are some of the other recipes you can do? Because you can't just do just eggs with this thing. Well, you can make a uh, rolly pizza stick. The mm, ingredients are one piece tortilla wrap, one tortillas. teaspoon tomato paste or pizza sauce, oh, nice. one fourth cup of shredded mozzarella cheese, wow. any topping of choice, chopped onions, chopped ham, chopped spinach. Wow. Be sure to cut the toppings to small size. Oh, cool. Salt and pepper your taste, pinch of oregano to your taste, hmm. and it also gives you the instructions on how to do it. Wow, that's one thing, that, that sounds really good, but I wish we had the ingredients for that one. Right. Uh, what are some of the other ones that you can make? Uh, barbecue pork roly. Well, barbecue pork roly, mm -hmm. wow. And the ingredients are two, two pieces of biscuit dough, three teaspoon of barbecue uh, pre-cooked pork, hmm. Like the shredded pork. Yep. Yeah. And then he's connected. And then you got the ham and Swiss roll. Yes. Wow. One piece crescent roll dough, mayonnaise or mustard, huh. one slice of Virginia ham, and one half slice of Swiss cheese cut into pieces. Virginia ham? Is that ham that's made in Virginia? Um, I'm not sure on that one. I think it is. Huh. Well, we'll have to go to Virginia and get some ham then. Yep. Of course, we're quite a far away ways off from Virginia, but 
I'm sure we can make it there if we need to. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I understand you can make so much with this rally, but we're just testing it on eggs right now. And uh, if this machine does work as uh, well as it does with eggs, we'll have to uh, uh, include more recipes that you can try. And uh, how are we doing on time so far? I think uh, it's been a couple of minutes. Yeah, it's been about, say, four minutes. About four minutes. Uh, I'm curious, so uh, if you just poke your eye in there, uh, not literally, but uh, just give a peek and see how well it's coming along. It's coming along. Is it's it really? Cooking. Wow, and it's cooking right up for you. Mm -hmm. All you gotta do is just cook, crack two eggs in there and just walk away and then come back in about eight minutes, you got eggs. Now we'll just have to see how well they taste too. Hmm. Well, I'm pretty sure that this rally should work exceptionally well. So uh, if it does the job that it says it, is, uh, that it, says it does, uh, what are your likelihood of using this for your future eggs? Um, the likelihood is very, very great. Ah, well that's, uh, that's a good thing. And it always helps to learn a few things in the kitchen. True. Because well, if you don't know how to cook, I mean, what are you going to do for food? You can't always order out. Right. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm waiting, Rowley. Oh, don't you wish you could do a real time lapse? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do too. Or uh, have the power to speed up time. Oh, I've been wanting one of those for the longest time. Like one of those stopwatches you see on Twilight Zone. Yep. I love that show. Or even a time machine. Ah, time machine would be great. H.G. Wells would be very proud. Rolly, 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 rolly. I didn't mean me to roll. Yeah, how's it looking? It's coming along. Yep. Does it smell like eggs? Mm hmm. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'd say that's uh, definitely an eggy smell. Of course, then I uh, don't know what it would be if it wasn't eggs in there. I say we're about six minutes into it. Six minutes? Alright, well, we'll give it a seven just, in, just to be on the safe side. Maybe you can actually hear it cooking too. Can you really? Yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. Well, I hear it now. <laughs> oh look, steam. You can definitely tell it's cooking. Mm -hmm. it that whistling? sounds like they're screaming too. Yeah. Ah, I'm being cooked! Help! Well, I think uh, perhaps uh, maybe we could uh, give it a check a -roo. Yeah. Alright. Now, folks, here comes the result of two eggs in a roly. Of course, that would be perfect for uh, uh, egg and soldiers, but you still use a shell for that. Yeah. And you know why they call them soldiers? Why? Oh, well, it's a, it's a very good British treat, you see. Uh, back where I come from, I used to eat that for breakfast all the time. Uh, the reason they call them soldiers, you know, you cut up a piece of toast into like four or five slices mm -hmm. and the way you arrange them on the plate looks like soldiers in a row. Wow. And that's where egg and soldiers came from. Impressive. Very. And all you got to do is uh, hard boil an egg for about three minutes and uh, then just dip the, uh, just make a little small hole in the top and then you have something to dip your soldiers into. Do they wear the egg shell as a helmet? Uh, well, you, they could, I suppose. Of course, they get a nice egg bath. Yeah. That makes them more tasty. I feel like a cannibal. <laughs> <laughs> the cannibalistic fox. He's going to eat soldiers. Oh my gosh. Uh, what's going to happen to our army now? It's going to shrink. <laughs> yeah, it's going to shrink if they can uh, come out delicious. I wonder what. Well, I wonder if fox can be dipped in egg. Huh. What do I have egg in my face right now? <laughs> That's the expression. <laughs> Well, though, for a moment the eggs were singing a tune. Help me! Of course, my brother was the singer. A little more pull. All right. I'd say it's about ready. All right. Well, let's uh, let's go ahead and dump it out on the plate and see how well it works. All right. All right. We are unplugging it for safety, and uh, if he steps back a few paces, he can uh, actually show the camera. How the rally is going to cook your eggs. And... Do you unscrew the top or...? I don't think so. I think it's all one piece. Oops. Oh! My goodness. Those are cheap skewers. How in the world are you going to get those out of there? 
Sure doesn't make the job any easier trying to get your eggies out. Nope. Well, I had hope for the future for the Rowley, but as you can see, the eggs are quite difficult to get out of there. Maybe if you... There we go. You just gotta go to shake a roo. And there's still a little bit on the bottom. Oh, is there? Yep. Maybe we should have uh, added more cooking spray? Maybe. Maybe, yeah. I'm trying to loosen it up with a skewer. And what's left of it anyway? Yep. <laughs> Cheap skewers. Well, you can get you can get stronger skewers in the grocery shops until. There, there we go. There you go. All right, let's show the camera the finished result. And there's your egg cooked in a rolly. All right, now, uh, Mike, uh, how does it look to you? It looks cooked. Does it really? Mm-hmm. I don't see nothing runny. No? Everything looks fine and dandy here. Mm -hmm. But let's try the taste. All right. Oh, you get out of your way there, get a fork. Uh, no forks. So I'll have to... No forks? Ah. Mm. Would a spoon work? Any implement would do. And if you stand a little bit to the side there, then the camera can see. There you go. And here's the first bite of egg cooked in a roly. And here's the results. Mm. Is it cooked to perfection? Mm -hmm. Is it? Mm. Well, folks, uh, looks like, uh, well, let's go over the pros and cons of the roly. So, here's how this point system is going to work, folks. We're going to give it five points for starters, and uh, every flaw that we find would take one point away. And uh, we then uh, determine uh, what the final score is by going over the pros and cons. So, five points on the screen, please. There they are. All right. Well, it's an easy way to cook eggs. So, that deserves a point. Um, the con is that it's very difficult to get out of there, so that's one point removed, so we don't have four. Uh, another con, you have to wait a little bit longer for the uh, eggs to be cooked, so that's another point gone. So, that's three points out of a possible five but everything else is good the eggs still tasted good so I'd give this a three out of five on the point scale and there are lots of things that you can do oh wait a minute the skewer they include in the package is very subpar so that's another point gone so two out of five points Rowley I'm ashamed but perhaps we can sort of work on other recipes to see if the Rowley can redeem itself. So if you're thinking about picking up a Rowley, I'd suggest picking up a pan with Teflon and a little cooking spray. As for the eggs, well, it did its job, but uh, I really, uh, I'm, I'm kind of at a no contest. We'll have to give it the old Consumer Fox Challenge. And we'll have to cook every single thing in that book to see whether or not the Rowley can stand up to the task at hand. Mm -hmm. But, you got to love eggs, and I love me eggs. Especially with a little bit of spam on the side of it, because I love spam. Thank you, Mike, for the, uh, aiding me. And uh, hopefully uh, this has opened your eyes a bit about cooking eggs. It, so, was, it was easy. It was quite easy. So... I guess we can give it an extra point for making a very difficult task much easier. Alright, so there you go. So it looks like it's redeemed itself in a, in a bit of a fashion. So from all of us here at the Old Poppet Show, to all of you out there, lots of luck with your early and I'll see you next time. Cheerio! Oh, give me some of that egg.